it changes with the lights. If you are moving it, it gets darker or much more brighter. Hello and welcome back to another video review. Today's video is featuring talking about should you get the iPhone 13 mini. And this is the black version in case you're brand new to this channel. We do a lot of things here, specifically we do video reviews. And in today's video you probably are wondering should you get the black one? And there was a lot of videos about this, but they don't actually show this up close and personal, the midnight version over here. And for those who are interested in getting this specific uh, model, the midnight version, take a look at how it looks when you're talking over here. And not everybody is going to be talking to the phone and not using a case for it. But look at it from far away. It cannot, you cannot really tell this is an iPhone apart from this and you're gonna probably gonna have a case on it anyway but look at the difference between the black version and something like this you see this one screams it is an iPhone even with the case on you can see this especially up close farther away it's harder to tell what kind of phone you're holding in your hand especially with a case on but with the black one you can't even tell it's a phone. The farther away, the more black hole it actually looks. It should be called black hole, not actually the midnight core. So why is it called midnight? Well, this is an interesting kind of a phone because as you get closer to a bright light source, look how it gets. It gets to be blue. This is unbelievable. See? See how dark it is over here? And now as I'm going and moving it and there is no light source on the bottom, it becomes black. The core code by itself of this phone is kind of bluish. So hands-on inspection of this, I want to show you it really up close and personal here. So you can tell and see how it looks like. And it does give you really blue. Really blue. I mean, I thought it was going to be different, but take a look. This is just weird. Like, more videos. And I keep watching it. I don't want to show you really personal. So you can be the judge figure out should you get this for yourself that's how it looks like with the case on the heel of the edges over here and the blue edges the blue edges the edges themselves are just awesome if you are into this kind of color code this is the one for you to get but for me so the deal break here, you can see that it really is, it really is blue. It's kind of a really darkish midnight blue, the one you see when the stars go down at night. And it changes too. See how it changes? It changes with the lights. If you are moving it, it gets darker or much more brighter. It's really interesting. And I would say it is navy kind of blue to it. Not my thing, but maybe it is your thing for you. It looks in some ways amazing for those who like midnight, that, that is. Now, why should you actually get one of those phones for yourself? And I'm coming from an SE. And the difference is this is much better processor is faster, it has nighttime photography, it gives you more real estate space for you to actually use, and the whole thing here you can use as real estate. It doesn't have those bumps over here. And I'm actually having a special thing like, remember the click thing? Well, you can actually add the click thing to this. I found a hack how to do exactly that. So that takes away that problem. Also, I found a way for to reduce the brightness of this screen. And because of that, 
it is much better. It is way better than before. So you, you, it doesn't get me as dizzy as I thought initially it would. I think it was just it was too much brightness was the real problem with this. Now take a look at a few other differences here, such as right here. This is much smaller. Two, you don't need to hold two hands. You don't need two hands. One hand. You can do everything in one hand with this phone. You don't even need a case, but I do suggest for you to get. So look, you can write everything you want with one hand. And it's not that heavy as well. It is pretty much right weight. So what are the pros of this except for that? One, you get the ecosystem of Apple, entire ecosystem. Every single time you get an Apple product, you get all those apps moving from one to another. So you can easily transfer between them using Bluetooth, which is cool. You just need another phone or your backup from the computer or the iCloud. Another thing that I really like about this is the case. And being the small size, you might say, well, it is small. It is too small for me. But this is good. Small, you can put it in your pocket. Now, for those who don't like 5G, I hate 5G. I don't think it's good for you. You can turn this function off on the phone, and it's not going to use any 5G, which is a good thing, too. Now, the size-wise, you might say, well, why get the mini? Why get it so small? I mean, small, really small. You really need something this small. Bigger is better. Well, one of the things about this thing being mini, you can put it in more places that you can't put the phone. And in an emergency, this is better. Having a phone versus not having one. And not packing your stuff. Like packing off so much different things, the more space it takes. I don't like big phones because of that. They take too much space. I actually think this thing is too big too. Really, I do. It should be like this more. <laughs> but the, the people who think that the smaller phones... Oh good, this is excellent. This is really good in terms of size and if you get a case for it, you can see here I got the 12 case UAG for the same exact phone. This is the red one and they tell you the difference. Look at the difference with the case on without the case. They're almost identical in size. So for those of you who are saying, hey, I'm going to get a case, it's going to get so much bigger. Not really. Not that much of a big deal. Take a look. Not much of a big deal. Just a little bit bigger. Just a little bit bigger. Just a bit. It's just your imagination thinking this thing is bigger. <laughs> it is. It is just like, like nearly not as big. It just looks big. But no. If you look at this, it's about the same exact size. So here it is. Finally here. Guess what this is? This is the Apple, the black version of the iPhone unboxing. And this is the iPhone 13 mini. You get to see how it looks like. Now let's see if the blue color is really blue. Or is it kind of black? So people wanted to see like hands on how does it actually look like. And you can see the whole cover here. And the whole unboxing experience is no longer how it used to be. So there is no more plastic wrap here. You have to take out both of those over here. Just like that. Okay. And oh wow, this is dark. I thought this was more of a bluish, but it's actually interesting kind of a core code through this whole thing. But let's go ahead and bring in some light to shine right on this to see if this is really blue or not. This is one of the coolest lights out there. Take a look at how it gets brighter. 
Ooh, nice. There. Now we can really tell the difference. So let's take a look at this close by and examining it. And look how dark it kind of looks like. Even with the lights on. Really interesting how the reflection is all about. Very interesting kind of a look to this. But if you look at this from the side, it gives it an indigo kind of a look to it. And now you can actually tell how blue it is from the side. But if you look at it straight like this, it kind of looks black. Now the only way for you to clearly compare is to look at it like this sideways. And it's different, like in person, versus from the right. And you can still tell, there was like this bluish midnight color. This is what happens when the sky gets really dark. And some people, if they like it in Digo color, this is really right up your alley. But people who dislike it, are not going to like it as much. And take a look at the difference here. Now you can really tell red and blue here by looking at both of them. Now you can tell this is more blue when you compare it to the red. If you just look at this alone, you kind of see that it's kind of really dark. Like, see, like this, it's like almost black. But front wise, it looks blue. Now, on the side, right here, this is really nice, kind of a black bluish shade over here. It looks really nice. But I really wish that this was like really black instead to it. And let's take a look at how it looks inside the case. For some people this is their big deal breaker because that's what you're going to be seeing. How it looks like inside the case. Everything else you're not going to be seeing anyways. See, all the while over here it gets it all black, and right there, take a look at this right here. Black looks good with everything, but it's not really black, it's kind of like bluish, kind of a tint to this over here, like really nice bluish kind of a look to it. But you can't really tell you this, this looks good on this part. I like, like. Like this kind of complements um, the case. But when you take it out and you look at this, well, one, you can see all the dust on it. Go look at how this dust looks on it. And this is the thing with most of those Apple iPhones all the dust really shows up except the red version interestingly enough you can't actually see the dust on it as much it just reflects off of it much better than this it just looks now now it looks blue you see that this thing is it tricks your eyes it really does it's like one of those uh, Cameron things that tricks your eyes like initially you're like oh this is cool this is interesting and there was just not enough videos on YouTube showing how blue this thing actually is it's not really black and sometimes it looks black like look at this just if somebody shows you it like this you're like this is black this is black but then you see it tricks your eyes it really does see how dark it is then it goes to blue then it goes to kind of um, black see almost totally black like, like like this and it makes it hard in the pictures to figure this out like is this blue is this black 
I would call this indigo, indigo blue. It's one of those navy blue, darkish blue, but I don't like it. I actually don't like it. It's not dark enough. It's just not the black that I like. Like you see, if this was the color code for this, like that, if it was actually this kind of color, that would have been it. That would make be cool. But then when it gets to looking like bluish, like really bluish, it's just not coming along the way I want. And with more lights, even showing you this thing, extra light from that reflection, this still looks better. The red one is just slick looking. And this is like, no, uh, no, 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 no. So sadly, the blue is not it. It's not it. You don't want this blue. You want, you want black. Maybe next variation of the phone is going to do it, but not this one, unfortunately. But here you go. So enjoy. And you tell me below, is this something you're going to be getting? Is this a deal breaker or is this exactly the core code you've been looking for? Let me know in the comments down below. Why else should you get the Mini except for, for that? What is the SE? Night photography. The video mode, it has a cinema mode over here. You don't need a video camera. So one user experience, I don't need a video camera. I get this out and I use this. A lot of times for pictures, for video, and I'm a photographer. I rather have a camera on me, and this is the thing. The thing is, for people who like to take pictures and videos, the camera on hand is the best camera you have. And most of the time, you're going to be using the camera that you all have on hand, which is going to be your phone camera. For me to take the camera that I need, to pack my gear, to put everything in there, to take the pictures, if I go pro, I take my gear. If I just go and need to use something, I take my phone. Most of the time I take my phone anyway. And how many times did I miss the shot because I didn't have a good picture and video quality? Lots of times. And I had to resort to my sucky phone. So the good thing about having a good phone is that it will take the videos for you. It will take the pictures for you. It will do everything for you in such a small package. Now the biggest question is, is it really worth this huge amount of money? If you're coming from the 12, it is really small difference in upgrade. This has better video, it has better night photography, it has better pictures, like really better pictures. And it has a wide angle to it. The wide angle is missing in the SE. On the other hand, in the 12, they'll both have the same thing. But the price difference between both of them is like so tiny, so small, and in fact you get more memory, it's not even worth it for you to get the 12. Just skip entirely the 12 and get the 13. Just a small amount of money is definitely not worth it for you to go and not get the 13. On the other hand, between the X and the other models, why get another phone? Why get a cheaper version when you can get the best possible phone that you can afford, buy it, use it, and enjoy it? And you can have this for a few years. That is my thing. If I get a very good phone and it does everything I need, I don't need to upgrade for the next four or five years. I'm going to stay with this for a while. Right now I have actually two different phones. But the reason why I'm using this, I'm using, I'm creating Facebook video content. And this one does the best videos for me. In fact, it's going to probably pay for itself in a few months by just creating the, the content that I create. So for me, it is really worth it. But for you, the biggest question should be, not if you should get the Mini. That if you should get the Mini, it should be what kind of color should you get the Mini with? The Mini should be black, should be red, should be green. And I have tried every single color out there. And I'm telling you, 
if you're gonna go for something the green one is probably one of the best colors out there the second best one might be the red in fact I'm split open between which one should I be getting should I get rid of this green oops red I mean should I keep the midnight or should I just get rid of both of them and get the green one the red one looks awesome just look at this in bright light just look at how beautiful this thing actually looks like and it's so weird because it looks so awesome and then you put this right inside here right in here and then you can't see it anymore it still flashes out but the thing is about this is that when the lights go out when it's dark outside this thing changes it becomes more dark it's really weird in the bright light you'll need to unlock your iPhone first oh yeah silly thank you in the bright light it looks stunning thing for us about this is that when the light I can't believe this thing is talking to me <laughs> in the bright light this thing looks stunning the red one very stunning but in the darkness it just looks like red not that uh, weird looking red but hmm. the green one on my opinion the green one is just awesome if I was gonna get any phone I am like so confused which one should I be getting it's not really if I should be getting the phone it's which phone is the one I should be getting and that's the question you should be asking for yourself which is the phone for you to get?